There we go, guys. Creates it by Konami. And I'm sure you guys know, this is Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Reshift of Destruction. Here, my Flip Mod 40. What is up, guys? Last time on Yu-Gi-Oh! Reshift of Destruction, we, uh, yeah, we defeated Panic. We made it to the end of the Bullet Express. Uh, there was only one guy we couldn't beat there, but, uh, afterward, we, uh, yeah, we went to the Egypt Exhibition, and we finally got, we had to prove ourselves worthy, and we got the Millennium Necklace. So, in this episode, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of dialogue, but we're going to talk to his Shizu and see what happens. Hi, Shizu. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, we all have to move in front of her for this cutscene. I'm glad that you have returned safely. Yeah, we found the Millennium Necklace, hey, Shizu. I see that you have obtained the Millennium Necklace. Yeah, you can have it back. This is yours. Unfortunately, it is not sufficient. A single Millennium item does not have enough power. Not enough to restore the Egyptian God cards from stone. The next Millennium item. Uh, who is this? What? What? What is this presence I'm feeling? Ishizu looks scared. Who are you? <laughs> I am the puppeteer of doom. <laughs> I won't let you meddle with the plans of Master Shovalski. Duel. What? Oh, okay. So before we can even uh, figure out what's going on, we are thrown into a duel. So let's do it. My turn. All right. So let's face uh, whoever this is, the puppeteer of doom. Okay. And Pretty strong start from them. They got Majuri's Slide, but that's a shadow monster. So if we can be, get a fiend, we can beat it. Um, unfortunately, I did not. So what I'm going to do is go with Morphing Jar. We're just going to make our strongest play. Okay, I got Beck in first turn. I'm going to do that, and we're just going to attack. All right. All right. Yeah, I figured that would happen. Alright. Actually, I expected that to be a fiend monster, but this is a, uh, uh, wicked dragon with the ears on its head, so this is a fiend. Uh, so dreams beat fiends, right? Yeah. I guess we'll go with lightning conjure and defense. And that's about the best we can do. Go ahead. Alright. Oh, he tributed. Ooh, giant mech soldier. That's a big boy. Uh, luckily it doesn't get the field boost, but it is a fiend. Uh, so I need a Dreams. Mm, guess we'll set Hanaiwa. And hopefully I can draw like Cyber Commander or something. Something that's a fiend type. Uh, yeah. That's gonna hurt. Uh, Wicked Dragon. Okay. It seems like uh, fiends are pretty good against this guy. Uh, I mean, dreams are. So, yeah, if you're doing this event, uh, load your deck with the dream mon uh, fiend monsters, you'll be fine. Uh, okay, I'll set a base down and end my turn. Hmm. Another tribute? I'm guessing it's another mech soldier. Oh no, it's on Tatsu. That's a. Uh, wow, that's a warrior monster. Uh, it's a shadow. Interesting. So, Fiend will beat this, and Dreams will beat this. Um, unfortunately, I don't have either right now, so. Looks like we may have to retry this duel, but, uh, you know, <laughs> standard fare for this game. We had to retry Rebecca like seven times, so. <laughs> well, not that many, but you guys know what I mean. And Blue Eyed Silver Zombie, yeah, wow. Pretty good power level of this guy's deck. The average is around, you know, nine, 900, so. Uh, oh, we got a Fiend. Okay, so Fiend beats uh, Shadow, right? No, Fiends beat Dreams. Um, wait, what's beat, what beat Shadow? Shadow beat Light. Uh, wait, what does beat Shadow? Does Fiend beat Shadow? No. Wait a second. So, wait, what does beat Shadow? Um, I don't know, but I'm definitely going to need to know for the next one. Um, let's see, well, I guess we'll just, uh, we'll just do this, uh, just to save myself on cards. Uh, but yeah, Fiends beat Dreams, uh, Light beat Shadow. Oh yeah, Light beat Shadow. Duh, duh, Josh. I, I knew that, I knew that. I knew that somewhere deep down. <laughs> 
Okay, so yeah, light monsters and, um, yeah, uh, fiend monsters. See, we'll see, I mean, dream monsters will do you good. Uh, anyway, we'll just try again. We, we have a couple of those types in our deck, but if I do need to uh, go with that, uh, as far as loading with, with types, I will. Because uh, I, I think we have a couple of light uh, uh, monsters we can add as well, so. All right. I am the puppeteer of Doom. I will let you meddle with Master Shavalski's plans. Ha ha. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Interesting start. Ah, we got the Bewitching Phantom Thief. That's good. I think I'll play this first turn, because he does seem to have a lot of, uh, uh, uh yeah. And plus it's 9-10. That's not bad. Let's see, you're going to have... Final Flame, okay. Uh, ooh, -hoo, yeah, Dream Beat Shadow, yeah. All right, perfect. Okay, now, I think I will... We'll just go with Morphin Jar, and I'll attack. Good, good, good. All right, good first start for us. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. And I'll tribute what we need to. Oh, okay, yeah, Fiend does beat Dreams. That's okay. It's okay, we got Morphin Jar out here. Uh, let's see, Fiend beat Dreams. I think, uh, Shadow beats, uh, Fiend. We don't have a Shadow, though, so, yes, he's just, we will tribute the Jar. All right, it's time for Peacock, baby. All right. Lucky hand there, and lucky start for us that he attacked us with the uh, wrong type. Let's just hope he doesn't have any fire monsters. Defending, good, good. That's what I like to see. Okay. Let's save this fiend monster. Uh, let's go with something like Anima. And we'll just attack. Okay, yeah, it's the dragon. Okay. And go. Earth smash attack. All right. And we'll the turn. I'll probably kill Hanaiwa, but that's fine. Two-mouth dark ruler. That is interesting. Uh, wait. What type is two-mouth dark ruler in this game? Oh, it's actually a fiend. That's interesting. Uh, let's see. So, shadow beats light. Does light beat fiend? I, I, I definitely need to know this. Uh, it does. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, so light beats fiend. Okay. So, I'm definitely going to need to know that for other big boss fights. Light beats fiend. Fiend beats dreams. Shadow beats light. Okay. All right. Let's do it, baby. Uh, so... He's got a shadow. I don't have a dreams, so I guess we'll just go with uh, Flame Dancer. Peacock, attack. Yeah, Majerus Light's pretty strong on this field. Uh, yeah, so. Yeah, if you are struggling with this duel and you somehow happen to have a field card, yeah, bring that with you. It'll definitely help. Um, I doubt you'll have one this early, but uh, yeah. And this is a. Uh, fiend, yeah, Fiends beat Dreams, Light beats Fiend. Uh, let's just go with Kaminari Kozo, which is actually tied with this monster, funnily enough. Uh, Leo will attack. Alright, and go, Static Shock. Alright. This second duel is going a lot better. Alright. Oh, and he's out of monsters? Oh ho ho! Alright, time to add insult to injury. I tribute for my Meteor Dragon. Go for that. We win. All right. Each by three. Six hundred domino. Holy crap! Giant mech soldier. Yeah, he did play this card in our first world. Towering mechanical soldier armed with a massive axe. It is so powerful. One blow of its axe can split the ground. There you go. Pretty good monster. Yeah. Don't get all cocky just because you beat me. This is an invitation for a challenge for Master Sol Sol Chavalski. Oh. What? Oh, he threw something at us. <laughs> this card. It's a video card. Uh-oh. A cursed videotape? Oh, we, we, we know all too much about this in Yu-Gi-Oh. Try setting it in your dual disc flood. Uh, okay. How do I do that? Oh, I guess I just push yes. Oh, okay, okay. Bravo. I saved Bravissimo. Congratulations. I guess that both my agents have failed me. Hmm. Ah, ha, ha. I had a feeling you guys would be a thorn in my side. 
But why fret when I can make a game out of this? Here are the rules. Let's see you turn the Egyptian god cards back from stone and bring them to my castle before time runs out and I destroy the world. If you don't make it in time, I can't vouch for what happens to it. Ah, how does that sound? Ah, ha, ha. All right, interesting. He resurrected Reshef the Dark Being. This isn't good. Oh man, cutscene. That's Reshef. There's Sol Chavosky. He looks a lot like Pegasus. Hmm, so I'm gonna give him the Pegasus voice. But we cannot worry about that now. Time is of the essence. The fate of the world is at stake. The second millennium item must be found so that we can restore the Egyptian god cards. That is the only way we can defeat Sol Chervosky and imprison Reshef, the dark being, again and save the world. Floodmon 14, please find the next millennium item. Yes. Thank you. The next Millennium Item. Go to Domino Pier. Wait, what? The Millennium Item should be aboard the cruise ship. Huh. Okay. In order to Persian, uh, we need the Egyptian gods. Yes. Aboard a cruise ship. The ship should be docked at Domino Pier. Okay, Shizu. Well, first I'm going to heal my life points. Um, I don't know if there's any side quests we can do at this point. Um, one thing I will do is check my deck. Uh, let's see. Let's take, check, take a look at that giant mech soldier card. Um, it is a... What type is it? So, Doma is a shadow, right? Shadow, yeah. Um, I think I may take out Doma for that. Because uh, Doma's only 1600. Um... And Doma is fairy type, right? Uh, yes, yeah, she is. If you don't know, like, uh, you notice that a lot of the boss fights here, early on, they do have the Yami field, and I believe fairies are weak on that, despite her being a shadow. Um, so yeah, let's go to the giant mech soldier we just won, and throw that in. Or maybe I'll throw an Exodia in. Oh, no way, I can't yet. Okay. Well, in that case, uh, yeah, where's that giant mech soldier? Probably go with that instead. It's got slightly higher stats. Um, oh, maybe I can sort this by attack, actually. There we go. Okay, there we go. So, mech soldier should be right here. There we go. Move to deck. There we go. Details. Yeah, so, okay, that'll work. Okay, and let's save again. Okay. Alright, but I'll check and see if we can do any side quests between episodes. Uh, but for now, let's just head to the pier, as suggested by Shizu. Let's check down here first, though. Um, now that we've uh, gotten one item, uh, in between us getting uh, each item, I definitely want to check here at the card shop to see if there are any useful cards we can buy. Uh, yeah. Okay, thanks, Duke. What's up, Tristan? Yo, Thugman14! Uh, I knew you could win. Hey, yeah, good luck. Alright. Alright, thanks, guys. All right, you can still duel Yugi here and Joey. Hello, good to see you. I have some excellent cards. Let's see about that, Grandpa. Um, really what I'm looking for are good spells and trap cards. This card's honestly pretty good. Uh, could, could we even use this in our deck at this point? Ooh, it's got a cost of 319. I doubt we could, but... Um, let's take a look. Ooh, there's the Umi field. So, yeah, so they do have field cards this early. Transforms into C. Yeah, so you may want to consider, you know, buying one of these. And, uh, yeah, so how much is it? Um, 1600 Domino. Honestly, that may be worth it just to change the field card. Dark Hole! Holy smokes, I can buy this. Uh, details. Uh, yeah. And it only costs 100? Ooh. Maybe I should. What's this? Uh. Oh. Restores by 2000. That's honestly pretty good. But I think Dark Hole is just slightly better. Um. Wow. Yeah. Um. Well, I'm definitely gonna save state before I do this, before I buy Dark Hole. But that is something to consider for sure. Um. Ooh, Pot of Greed. Ooh, how much is this? Draw two? Yeah. 
That is pretty good. Um, it is 6,000 domino. Ooh. Dilemma time, guys. Do we save for Pot of Greed? Or do we go ahead and put in Dark Hole? Hmm. Both have their uses. Oh my god, the Mass Beast Discardius. Look at this monstrosity. Wow, a fiendish mass monster that makes prey of human beings. The mass is said to show the face of the people it's eaten. Ooh. But yeah, 3,300. Imagine that with a field bonus. It's GG, man. Um. Huh. Oh, also we can get the Black Cluster Ritual. You know, this does only cost 10. This card right here. So, uh, for a ritual, a Gaia the Fierce Knight, etc. is needed. You know, this is pretty cheap to buy, so I will buy this. Um, if nothing else to help inflate our debt costs. Uh, uh, well, funnily enough, this card's actually probably pretty good in this game. Exile of the Wicked, which destroys all fiends. Um, yeah, and that's pretty cheap for some center, so you may want to consider that. Um... Wall of Illusion is also pretty good. Um, tell you what, boys and girls, tell you what. Um, I kind of want to. I still could buy Dark Hole. Yeah, and there are really some situations where that could help. Um, the only thing is. I mean, don't get me wrong, Dark Hole's good. I like Dark Hole, but the only problem with it is it destroys all monsters on the field, right? Yeah. Hmm. I kind of like Beckon to the Darkness better. But then again, destroying all monsters, if they're like overwhelming us, this is good. You know what? You know what? You know what? We have the deep we have the points for it, the domino for it. So let me what am I thinking? It's Dark Hole. It's gotta be good. It's gotta be good in this game. So let me save state on four and five before I buy this. But yeah, we're gonna try to buy it, uh, and we're gonna see if we're allowed to put it in our deck. If we are, I'll, I'll go ahead and keep it. But if not, you know, we will uh, reload the state I just made. Uh, so let's go to the deck. Uh, let's take out, what should we take out for this? Uh, um, Hut Shadow, sure. Okay, and then let's go to the trunk. Let's see if we can put in Dark Hole. So let's sort by attack set. Probably just go all the way to the bottom. Uh, okay, so we're here with the magic cards. Um, dark Hole, Dark Hole. Ooh, Torrential Tribute. That would be pretty good in this game. Um, dark Hole. Ooh, Crush Card Virus. Exciting. Um, let's see, Dark Hole. Monster Reborn would also be pretty good. Uh, Swords would be good in this game, too. Uh, let's see. Dark Hole. There's Raigeki. I don't see Dark Hole yet. Um, get some power-up cards here. Um, Dark Hole. Heavy Storm. Um, there's the Winged Dragon of... Is this the Winged Dragon of Raw? Uh, details. Oh, it is. Oh, interesting. Uh, well, anyway, we're starting to see monster. Did I skip over Dark Hole? Um, Puppet Master. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, let's go back down. I must have skipped over it. Um, sorry this is taking a while, guys. Um, yeah, it should be here with all the magic cards and stuff. Uh, Dark Hole. Yeah, because there's Raigeki. Um, interesting. Where is it? Um, huh. I don't see it. Um, well, I guess we'll start from the top here. Um, weird. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. Uh, wait, what? Move to deck. Oh, yeah, my deck, my dual level is too low. Okay, okay, okay. So, darn. Okay, well, in that case, I guess we will indeed reload the state. Um, yeah, because it looks like even if I buy it, I can't use it now. Um, so what state was it? It was like, what time is it right now? Okay, so it was this one, this one. Okay, okay, so looks like we can't even put Dark Hole in. Um, 
Yeah, you know, I could consider putting in the Umi card, though. That honestly might help us as well, just to change the field for some of these duels. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's see if we can put this in. Uh, might as well test this as well. So, yeah, uh, let's go to Trunk. Uh, yeah, I don't mind putting in... Oh, what just happened? Okay. Yeah, let's go to... Okay. Yeah, okay, Trunk. Okay. So let's go back up here to the field cards. Uh, sort by attack. There we go. Now let's go see if we can put the Umi card in. Um, Umi. Pretty sure we saw all the fields up here. Um, Umi. Yeah, and I am a Flood Duelist, so... Yeah, sorry this is taking a little while, but you know. <laughs> uh... What in the world? This happened with Dark Hole, too. Yeah, where's Umi? It's not here with everything else. Um... I guess when you buy it, it, uh... It moves it, like, closer to your monsters, I guess? That you normally have? I don't know. It's really weird. Uh... Let's see... Or maybe there's, like, just two sections of spells and traps. I don't know. Let's see... monsters here. Uh, hmm. If we can add Umi, though, I think I'll keep it. Because I think it will help us for the long run, ultimately. So, here's hoping we can. Um, let's see. Uh, should be getting close. Uh, fake trap. Okay, there's that. There's Umi. Okay, okay. Move to deck. Yeah, okay. So we can use Umi. Okay, good. So there you go. Okay, and with that in mind, actually, it does benefit uh, waters. So let's take a look at my deck. Let's take out like some of our weaker cards uh, in terms of attack. And go with some more uh, flood based cards. I think it benefits thunders as well, which is really good for us uh, since we have two of the thunders. But yeah, let's actually remove some of these pyros. Yeah, probably a good idea. Um, you know, this is a fiend, but if it is a pyro, it's probably a good idea to remove it at this point. Yeah, because, uh, yeah. I mean, I'll keep like one for the type advantage, but yeah, Umi is gonna give pyros a big decrease, so in power. So, okay, so we'll add two cards from the trunk that are, you know, relatively good. Um, okay, it's already sorted by attack. So let's go up here to around the 500 range and see what we get. Probably like just another Star Boy and stuff. Um, details, okay. So let's check. Uh, I guess I can put in a white dolphin. Yeah, that would be good. And do I have anything else? I know I have like Starboy, yeah. So I can add one of those. Um, anything else that's stronger um, as far as water types? Doesn't look like it. Looks like we have everything else. Uh, I, I could put Lucky Trinket in. Uh, this card does have 800 defense. So, you know what? Uh, and it's a what? A light magician? Um, yeah, that's pretty good, honestly. So let's, yeah, let's add Lucky Trinket in. Let's just take out, uh, let's take out something pretty weak in our deck. Let's take out, let's take out Koro Gashi, I think. Uh, yeah. Okay. And let's put in, yeah, let's put in that Lucky Trinket. I think we got this from the girl on the train, the, uh, the daughter of the, uh, the father we couldn't meet. Uh, yeah, anything else I forgot to add? 
Okay, and everything else I think is too high deck cost. Okay, yeah, so sorry sorry about that long, you know, kind of edit there as far as our deck. But, uh, yeah, definitely necessary, I think, because we are starting to see that, yeah, more duelists uh, are having the uh, the Yami field by default. So, ultimately, I think having Umi will help us. So, all right, guys, but uh, let me check on the time here after I save the game. Uh... Okay, you know what? Sorry, sorry that it did take me so long to edit the deck, but I guess in the future I can start editing the deck off screen so it won't take me as long. But uh, yeah, yeah, definitely a worthwhile trip to look at there at the shop. And now we know to save for, I think we'll save for Pot of Greed next uh, for the 6,000 Domino. So, uh, but anyway, that was it for this episode. So now that this episode's over, I'm gonna uh, look for any side quests we can potentially do. Uh, but yeah, if not, I can't find any, then we will head to the ship next episode and try to find the next Millennium Eye. Alright guys, until next time. Alright, bye-bye. Have a good day.